Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is fun again. Uh, we're still on our ActiveX controls. You notice I'm in the Developer tab in Design mode already, ro ready to rock and roll. We're going to insert two or three of these option boxes. And what is an option box? Or excuse me, option button, I should say. Oh, uh, looks like I labeled this wrong. All right, what is an option button? Uh, well, typically it is gives you the option to choose between that or one of its fellow options. So let's insert a few more and you'll see. Uh, typically when they're grouped together, when, they're, uh, when there are several option buttons next to each other, unless they're grouped separately with grouping mechanisms that we can talk about later, they will assume that if one is not is one is checked, then the others must be not checked. Not so with uh, last lesson with the checkboxes. You can have a bunch of checkboxes, and they could some uh, one or all be checked. But with an option button, it only wants you to choose one of the several option buttons, and the other ones become deselected by default. Again, you can change this by grouping these three together, and if you wanted two other option buttons to be associated with something else, just group them. There's ways to do that. I believe. I'm not fam too familiar with doing this uh, with uh, in a worksheet. More familiar with user forms, but uh, we might be able to right-click and perhaps group. Okay, so you could group these three, and then when you clicked on a different option button, it wouldn't uncheck one of these. We're not going to do that, but that's how you do that. Okay, so let's put some codes here. We're going to go ahead and uh, to get this properties window, you right-click on one of your buttons in design mode and go to properties. Okay, we're going to change the caption on some of these. This one will say red. This one we can say is green. And this one we can say is uh, don't like either. So we have options. Red, green, I don't like either. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. So what are we going to do with these three option buttons? We can kind of do the same thing that we did with the last lesson. However, this time you're going to have... Um, one of the three, and if they say they don't like either, we're gonna we're gonna give them a message and tell them they can get over it. Basically, all right. Let's rename this one to OB Red. This one will be OB for Option Button Green, and OB. Let's see, OB Neither. Okay, so we're gonna copy a little bit from our last lesson. We said, let's see. If the value was true of that, then make it green. Okay, let's do that here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Did I not hit? I did not hit enter. I'll be red. Enter. <coughs> it says these are just identifiers. You don't have to rename them. I just like to do it so I'll know what the name is. Okay, I'll be red. When I'll be red is clicked, then. Range interior, blah blah blah. So that's going to be green. Uh, dang it. Let's see here. Whoops, I meant to do red. Alright. And I'll steal that. Control X to cut. When it's green, we'll run this line of code. And when they click, I don't like either. Let's see, when OB neither is clicked, we'll say. We'll have a message box that comes up and says, get over it. Now, notice what we're doing here. The next line of code is very important. We're going to tell the other one to become checked again by giving it a true or false value. Let's make the green one become selected. So after the message box is, when the OK button is clicked after it says this, we're going to say me dot uh, ob. Let's have the green me dot ob green dot value equals true. Now let's make this fun. Double click here. Uh, whenever they, whenever they, uh, whenever they, let's see. Where's the right click? Is there a right click event? Oh, there isn't. Okay, we'll forget that. This is complicated enough. 
uh, we'll have the value of the green checkbox become true. So check this out. Let's exit. Oh, let's exit design mode. So I'm going to click on green. Click on red. Green, red. If I click on don't like either, it says get over it. When I hit OK, it's going to make the value of the red one, I think, or no, the green one become true. Get over it. Or we can have the other one become true also. Me dot ob red dot value equals true. So whenever they click, I don't like either color. It says get over it. And it makes red become true. Get over it. Red's true. Crazy. That's fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is uh, our VBA series on the option buttons. Tune in next time for some more awesome fun.